If you're buying a gravel and adventure bike this year, like one of these perhaps, there's a very big chance the group set will be Shimano's GRX. Since it launched about two years ago, it's become really popular, both with bike brands specking on their new bikes and also you customers, because as we know, Shimano has a really strong brand loyalty. And the only real decision you need to make with GRX is one buy versus two buy, or in other words, the number of chain rings on your group set. But which is right for you? Well, I'm here to help with a detailed explainer on the pros and cons of one by versus two by, go through all the details on a group set, the key differences, and also what each group set is like to use based on several months of riding both bikes that you see here. But what I'm not going to do is tell you which is best, because ultimately only you can decide which is best for you based on your riding requirements, riding style, and just where you live and ride. But hopefully this video will give you some details to help you better choose the right group set to suit your riding. If you want to know more about one by and why I personally really like it for off-road riding, then click on the pop-out banner up above. But for now, let's dive into a comparison of Shimano's GRX 2 by versus one by So two group sets here are Shimano's range-topping mechanical 11-speed 800 series GRX setup. You can also get DI2 if you want electronics, and it's also a cheaper 600 and 400 offering, which offer 10 speed as well. So we've got one by here with a 40 tooth chainring and 1140 cassette on the back. You can get an 1142 and a bigger 42 chainring if you want, so a few options there. And then the two by setup here is 11 speed with a 4831 chain set and 1134 cassette. You get a smaller 1132 cassette if you want, but that's the biggest cassette you can get, 1134. Those are the big differences between the two group sets, but there are a lot of similarities. They both have a clutch mechanism rear mech, borrowed from the mountain bike world, which simply puts stops chain slap, so it stops the chain falling off by increasing the tension in the rear mech and stops the chain hitting the uh, chain stays. There's also a lever to deactivate the clutch mechanism for easier wheel removal. And on the one by setup, we also have a narrow wide uh, chain tooth profile on a chain ring to further prevent the chain from falling off. But aside from those differences, they're essentially the same technology. Let's start with one by and some pros and cons. And the biggest benefit of one by is simplicity. It's simpler to shift because of one mechanism to worry about to so go up and down the cassette for easier and low gears as you need. And you're not managing that front mech like on a two by system. There's also a few parts of wear out or fail, one less gear cable and one less mechanism. So that's a benefit, especially in bike packing and extreme riding, where you minimize the things that could go wrong. There's potentially less weight because you have one mechanism versus two. There's also increased tire clearance because you don't have the front mech, which does limit tire clearance on Shimano GRX up to a 42 millimeter wide tire, even though they push the front mech and the chains are out by 2.5 millimeters. So increased tire clearance is a benefit of one by. And if you're trying to build a bike with the bigger tires you can, then one by is very often the best way to go. A really neat feature of Shimano's GRX one by setup is the ability to use the left lever to activate a drop post as we see on this bike setup here. Drop posts are the latest product imported from mountain bikes and the ability to lower the saddle gives you an advantage in very technical or very steep descents. Just lowering the saddle gives you more clearance, more freedom to move around on the bike. So that's a really neat feature of Shimano's GRX one by setup. The two big cons with a one by setup are range and gaps. Now the range on a setup isn't as generous as a two by bike behind me. So the low gear isn't as low and the high gear isn't as high. Now Shimano's GRX one by isn't the most ambitious in terms of offering wider range compared to say SRAM or Campag. So there are better one by group sets if you want one by, but you want the big range. So the range isn't as generous with this 1140 cassette, but it has to be said, you can opt for an 1142, give you a bit more range, a bit of a lower gear. And there are ways of hacking a bigger cassette onto a GRX setup, which I'll talk about in a future video because in this video, I'm just focusing on what Shimano sells you as stock and what bikes will be specced with rather than going down the customization route, which some of you will be mentioning in the comments, I'm sure. So range is a, a drawback with this one by setup. 
And the other big con with one by, of course, are the gaps between the sprockets, which are bigger than a two biker set behind me. And if you're a roadie coming to the gravel bike market, they're not being the idle optimum cadence at all times can be an issue. But for me personally, riding off-road is rarely the issue some people can make it out to be, but that's definitely a con where one by setup versus two by. And now let's look at two by and some pros and cons. And the biggest advantage on this bike compared to the other bike here is the range is bigger. So an easier low gear and a higher top gear. And then we have much smaller gaps than the one by cassette over there. And that is a big clincher for many people, especially if you're a roadie come to a gravel bike market. And what it means is less compromise. So you can get the perfect cadence more of the time with the range you get from a two by setup here. And that's good for a wide range of riding requirements from high speed road and high speed gravel to riding at really steep climbs or mountains. You get all the range from two by, but with nice small gaps so you can be in the right cadence at all times. There are a few cons to two by compared to one by. The first one is more setup. So there's more things to set up, an extra mechanism, so more adjustment needed and more maintenance needed as well. And there's more things to go wrong. You've got two mechanisms versus one, extra gear cable as well. And if you're going bike packing, trying to minimize the risk of things going wrong, then two by offers a bit more uh, of an issue compared to one by. The other big factor is tire clearance. And simply put, having that front mech and two chain rings does limit how wide a tire you can go which mine is dating a 42 millimeter wide tire is a maximum you can go. Despite them moving the front mech and the chain rings out by 2.5 millimeters to increase the tire clearance. So you want a bigger tire clearance, one by offers an easier route to bigger tires. There's also more of an issue around mud clogging on the front mech and chain rings in my experience compared to the simplicity of a one by setup. There's also potentially more weight, the extra front mech, the two chain rings, which are bigger than the one by, but the cassette is a bit smaller, so that will offset the weight difference a little bit. And the other downside is you can't use a left-hand lever to operate a dropper seat post like we have on the one by bike over there. You have to add some other mechanism to handlebar to operate a dropper post if you want a dropper post on your gravel bike. When it comes to performance, both group sets work extremely well and essentially work as well and the same as their road bike group sets because all the technology the shifting mechanisms and the brakes are basically the same as the road bike group sets. So if you're coming from road Shimano, you'll feel right at home on these. And in terms of reliability, durability, no issues at all. The shifting performance is excellent. So nice, light, crisp gear changing, uh, really ergonomic as well with the new hoods. The braking performance is excellent as well. Very powerful, good modulation. For me, on both these bikes, in the rain, mud, no noise at all and the pads last for blimmin' ages as well, so that's a good thing. Both groups that work really well on the extreme load or when covered in mud and snow and ice, the way the group set just keeps on working despite all the conditions you put it through is frankly impressive. Um, so definitely the benchmark for reliability performance when it comes to choosing a group set. Probably my favorite feature of Shimano's GRX group set are the new hoods. Well, I say new, they're based on a road bike group set. So if you're coming from a road bike group set, these will feel the same, but slightly different. So we have this really textured material on the hoods, which gives more grip when it's raining or it's muddy, so your hands don't slide around as much. That's really nice. And also the lever blades are much broader, much more sculptured, so they're easier to reach from the hoods and the drops. So the new hoods give you much more control when you're shifting and braking in quite challenging situations. Uh, just a really nice detail of Shimano's GRX group set, and probably my favorite feature. So there we go then, lots of pros and cons to hopefully help you choose which of the group sets is right for you. Ultimately, they both offer excellent performance with all the reliability we've come to expect from Shimano. Shift performance is flawless, the ergonomics are fantastic, the brakes are excellent, and they both look really good as well. Comparing the two group sets here, the two by offers wider range with lower gears and a higher gear. So that probably ticks the box for a lot more people if you want the widest range and the smallest steps between those gears. If you don't want the lowest gears and you want the extra tire clearance and the other benefits like the dropper post integration, then one by is still a good option. But I don't think that Shimano one by offering is as good as Campag or SRAM 
but it still works for a lot of people. Two by, if you're coming from road bikes and you're used to a front mech, it's an easier transition to make. It's more familiar, there's less compromise in terms of range and the gaps between the gears. So on paper, the two by setup is probably an easier pick. And my advice, if you still can't decide which group set to choose between two by or one by, is to really decide what sort of riding you want to do on your gravel bike and the ratio of road versus off-road. And if it's off-road, how much is dry, dusty gravel and how much is muddy, rooty, rocky, woody trails and how hilly that terrain is, how strong you are as a rider, whether you're going bike packing with extra luggage or you want a fast, lightweight racing bike. But all those factors will help you choose which of your group sets will best suit you, your riding style and your riding requirements. But at the end of the day, only you can decide which group set is right for you. But hopefully this video and these pros and cons have been helpful in narrowing down your choice to the right group set for your gravel and adventure bike this year. And which group set that is? Well, I'd love to know. So let me know down in the comment section below which group set you're looking and which floats your boat. But that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already for more weekly reviews coming up. And with all that said, I'll see you all again next time. Thank you so much for watching.